Hello, everybody, and welcome to this late edition video. This is what we call a mail haul, I think. Um, I ordered a book that I had been hunting for for some time, and I think this is it. But the packaging is so fucking bizarre that I don't know what's happening here. So, um, I'll go like this to kind of block any kind of addressical stuff here. But look at this box. Okay, so this box was sent to me. It's got a picture of a dude laying in the road with a horse about to run over his legs. This sounds really familiar and I can't remember what the fuck it is. But the penmanship looks like my grandmother's, so I'm wondering if it's like some weird Peter Rabbit thing from Beyond the Grave. It's kind of freaking me out. And then this thing's here. Um, I thought it was something else, but maybe it's some sort of astrological sign. And then it says, stand tall. But wait, there's more. So then, there's all these little things on the sides. Okay. 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 Isn't this a bizarre package? Do you think my package is bizarre? I don't know. Um, I don't know if I want to hurt this. There is a really large amount of tape on here, but we're going to try. Actually, you know what? Like a boss, I'm going to go through the back door. Um, yeah. Yeah. I have had good success going through the back door as of late, so that is where I'm going to go. There is so much effing tape on this, but by the time I'm done with this back door, there won't be enough tape on the west coast of California to be able to put this box back together again. Am I right? Oh my god. I'm so afraid right now. Ugh. Okay. I broke through, guys. This is so exciting and scary. Open with care. Oh my god. Please don't be a bomb. Open, open with care, content something. Here's some sort of packing stuff that I don't know if it actually has anything to do with my thing. Oh my god, there's a bag in here. Please don't be a severed hand. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh. Okay, guys. Oh my god, this book is pristine. It's in um, saran wrap, so it doesn't go bad in the fridge. Holy macaroni salad. <sighs> I'm like kind of losing my shirt right now. Oh my god, this is so... Oh my god, it's so small. I thought it was going to be so much bigger for some reason. Oh, it's such a perfect size. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of losing my shit right now. I'm trying really hard, guys. I'm trying really hard. Is this suspense killing you yet? Here, look. I'll let you see a little bit of that. And I'll let you see this. It says $1.25. So, all you detectives out there, figure it out. Oh my gosh, come on. Come on. Come on. Do you want me to give you a hint? For those of you who haven't figured it out yet? 
This is a penguin. You're like a penguin? That's a penguin? And I'm like, it sure effing is. Oh my god, this is in such good effing shape. Oh my god, I'm losing my effing mind right now. I seriously thought this was going to be way more banged up. Oh my lanta. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Jesus H. Okay, for future reference, no one mail me anything in um, saran wrap anymore. it is i'm so excited oh that spine looks good oh okay oh my gosh here we go nope that is not of a jj that is a rock you perverts this is penguin modern poets 13 with charles bukowski philip la mancha let's say and Harold Norse. Oh my effing god. This looks so good. Now remember when I was telling you guys the books I'm getting, the book hauls I'm doing, they're like intentional now. I'm not just going to go buy whatever crap because I was at a store and there was a bunch of crap. I'm going to spend that money on exact things that I have been after, and oh my god. Oh, this. This! Penguin Modern Poets is an attempt to introduce contemporary poetry to the general reader by publishing representative work by each of three modern poets in a single volume. In each case, the selection has been made to illustrate the poet's characteristics in style and form. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know much about La Mancha, but I've been really wanting to get into more um, Harold Norse. Okay, let's see here. Um, let's see what, oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Okay, so this is um, first pressing, first printing, 1969. Okay. Um, look at this spine. That spine is near perfect. We got a couple dings there. Back cover looks nice. Front cover looks nice. There's just like little wear around the edges. Pages look good. Oh my god. And because it's a penguin, everything feels really good. Oh my god, those pages flicking through my thumb. Are you effing kidding me? Well, I just want everyone to know that this book, originally, back in 1969, was given to or purchased by one Melody Whitley, 1969. Melody Whitley, come on down. If this was your book at one time, I want you to leave a comment. And then I could thank you for not trashing this fucking book when you were high on shrooms and LSD doing your Dennis Leary crap. Oh my god. And then some store was selling it for... Oh wait, you can't really see because it's pencil. 15 doll hairs. Oh my effing G. I'm so excited. Oh. Oh. oh my god, I'm so excited. I am going to read this book so carefully. It's going to be good. So, um, whoever sent me this bomb... No, I'm just kidding. It was not a bomb. But, like, this is a lot of work to go into mailing somebody something. Am I right? Um, it says, E-Bucks! With an exclamation point. And that is the address. That address, Indianola Road in Washington. 
Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I won that on an auction off of one bid, didn't think I was gonna get it, and I got it. So, um, oh my gosh, I'm gonna put that right away in a bag and then take it out in a little bit and read it. Oh my God. Okay, so um, I'm way too excited right now, but um, I just wanna say hi. Hi, everybody. Wasn't this fun? I'm losing my shit right now. So I will let you know how it is because if you are watching my um, Bukowski chat book thing, I don't know if I'm gonna include this in it, but I might, but this, this is 69 and we're in 61 right now. So I don't know, we'll figure something out. So until next time,